Hi, my name is Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. I'm here with Mickey Fulp of Mercenary Geologist. Hi, Mickey. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Scott. Always my pleasure. Yeah, I wanted to get your take on the recent market crash in gold and what your expectations are going forward. I wouldn't actually call it a crash. I'd term it a, a needed correction. So if you looked at a chart of gold over the last year or so, you keep seeing, or even two years, you keep seeing lower highs, lower mm -hmm. highs kind of going down. Mm -hmm. So a correction looked like to me it was in order and perhaps even overdue. Uh, there were a variety of factors. There's certainly no doubt that that paper correction in gold was manipulated. Mm. But my point would be all markets are manipulated, get over it. Yeah, that's very true. And what's your expectation going forward for gold? Well, right now we're sitting today as we speak, which is the second day of the Metals and Minerals Conference in New York City. Uh, gold's taken a little dive over the last few days. I think it's trading about 1420 uh, mm -hmm. today. So if you look at the TA guys, the technical analysis guys, which I pay attention to, certainly in the short term, they, they see major resistance about 1475 and then 1500, 1525. So it appears to me that until gold goes to those prices, exceeds those, and stays there, we've flirted with 1475 a couple of times mm. and it's dropped right back down that gold is pretty much in a bearish, bearish phase. And what do you see medium to long term? Well I remain uh, bullish on gold simply for the fact of, mm -hmm. of major quantitative easing and a race to devalue the three major currencies in the world, the US dollar, the euro and the, and the Japanese yen. So just do the math on that, that leads me to be uh, a, a bull in gold and, and, and the fact that I think gold pri prices overall will remain strong for the foreseeable future. And in terms of gold exploration companies, uh, what are you looking at, what are you looking for, and, and what should investors out there be looking for? Well, it's a tough market right now, mm -hmm. really a bear market for, for the explorers. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen valuations continue to go down, even some good companies with strong resources, and they get hit by, by uh, uh, redemptions, by funds, institutional fund redemptions. And so you see kind of a serial knockdown of, of some of the companies you consider to be the best in the game. Uh, what I've started looking at, I just took on a new sponsor of my website and, uh, and I hold shares in a company called Gold Royalties Corp. So I'm looking more and more to the to perhaps alternative ways to play this game. Uh, and the royalty model to me has lower risk, and a longer term outlook, which provides a hedge against my more speculative exploration stocks. And are you thinking along the lines of it's really hard for companies to raise capital, and this is a company that has that advantage there, that it has royalties to? Right, so it, it's cash flow generating. It's a new company mm -hmm. uh, with a relatively new royalty coming in, but mm -hmm. well positioned with other royalties. And what, what it also does, because it buys royalties, that's another way for juniors to fund their exploration is sell a royalty in advance on a project that's mm -hmm. uh, in, soon to be in development or needs mine financing. Mm -hmm. I don't own gold royalty. Okay. Um, what are, is there any other companies that you like out there right now that uh, you're following in the gold space? Or well, in, in the gold space, mm -hmm. I continue to, to cover, uh, sponsor uh, sponsor my website, Mawson Resources. Mm -hmm. uh, Mawson with the the high-grade gold uranium discovery in, uh, in northern Finland. Uh, hmm. They continue to progress uh, on, on that project. Uh, they've gotten some more permits. Uh, permitting in Finland is a very long, drawn-out affair, mm -hmm. but I'm still excited about that project. They have a new uh, outcrop discovery about 10 kilometers away from Rompus, which is the main area they've mm -hmm. been drilling, which is a very uh, high-grade gold occurrence, but but mm -hmm. but small occurrences, so putting together tonnage is, is going to be difficult. Uh, it looks that that's going to require a bulk sample. Mm -hmm. But they made this new, dis <coughs> pardon me, mm -hmm. uh, a new discovery 10 kilometers away, more of a disseminated occurrence. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the next one will be drilled, mm -hmm. we're excited about I that. See. I don't own that, but how much cash do they have? 
they got about six and a half million dollars. So they have more than enough to yeah, do their, their exploration work. Uh, this year, certainly, uh, uh, or at least uh, for the foreseeable future. The main thing that uh, their main shareholder is the Sentient Group, hmm. a very well-known group of, uh, of investors, mainly in the United States, who get behind plays and stick with them. So I think you'll see Sentient continue to support Moss. Nice. Thanks very much, Mickey. Uh, thank you, Scott. Again, that's Mickey Fult, mercenary geologist. My name is Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. Thanks for being with us.